Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound here. I'm at the NAM show in Anaheim, California. And with me now is Brendan from Motu. How's it going? Good morning, Brendan. Good morning. It's going well. How are you? Oh, not too bad. Yeah, this is great. First day in NAM. Looking forward to it. Excellent. And you have very exciting news That's in the shape of DP10. In the shape of DP10, it's finally here. Um, DP10, we just announced it today. It should be available to ship in the next, uh, I'd probably say, one to two weeks. Um, we've got a ton of new features. I'm not sure if we want to go through them right now. We have the new Clips window in DP10, which is a huge new uh, window for DP10. It's kind of appealing to new clip-based triggering and audio recording, audio and MIDI and automation recording. Um, we have it available as one of the windows right here, uh, as well as stretch audio, beat detection improvements, scalable UI, VST3 support um, and for both Mac and Windows. Uh, we have the Motu Instrument Sound Bank, which we're including with DP10 as an upgrade, which is basically the entire UVI and parts of the Mach 5.3 library, um, all you know for the upgrade price of 195. Fantastic. So tell us a little more about this clip window, then. Yeah. So the clips window is running behind me. It's basically a new window that allows you to either choose audio that you've recorded in DP, uh, audio that you've brought in from elsewhere record MIDI and automation and put them into uh, clips uh, in empty cells on each track, allowing you to kind of build your project and you know, potentially either write songs uh, using different sections that you've recorded uh, or using it for live looping and playback. And it's, you know, it's a big new window, a full mixer with plug-in and effects, uh, insert slots, solo mute capabilities, input and output assignments, volume assignments. It's a very, uh, very vast new window that's going to be great for DP users that are looking to record and write music. So how does that integrate with existing DP features? Well, in terms of the Clips window, all of the same features with DP are, are still applicable. You can drag audio in and out of the Soundbytes window. We have the new Content Browser, which allows you to access any part of your hard drive, um, as well as insert settings, instruments, plug-in effects, and basically be able to drag them onto tracks in the Clips window. Um, it integrates uh, with the, let's see here, the Chunks window in terms of queuing up different songs for different live performances using Clips. It basically utilizes, it can utilize every other existing part of DP and just kind of bounce and play off uh, the existing features. So. so whenever you're ready. Cool. All right, so this is the new Clips window in DP. Uh, how it works is that it's going to play any existing audio that's in the traditional DP timeline until a new clip drops into the actual clips window. So I can go here and trigger some audio clips on different tracks or MIDI clips as well. So I can physically go and record MIDI data that's assigned to different tracks in my sequence um, and then copy that MIDI data into the clips window. We can take that and while we're playing back simultaneously take it up here, copy, and paste into a MIDI clip and cue it up whenever you'd like. If you uh, double click on these clips here, you can open up the clip editor where you can use, um, you can do insert volume pan and plug-in automation as well as using the new stretch layer in DP10, which allows you to move beats uh, back and forth like so, as well as adjust the actual time of the stretch that you'd uh, like to alter, all without uh, adjusting the original audio file. So this is all non-destructive. Um, so this is cut out here. And as I mentioned, you can also record automation clips as well. If I set this to a output here, and I can pull up, let's say, a fader here, pull it into view. If I MIDI learn this knob to it, I can go in and record that automation onto a track. You can see this happening on my master fader track. It's just the filter sweep. And then I can actually, again, take my iBeam tool and we'll uh, highlight this, copy it, and we can paste it right into master fader track and cue that up like normal. And yeah, so this is great for uh, playing back. This is great for live recording, maybe making, uh, for music production that you're trying to do on the fly with multiple ideas. You can start building up your clips in your sequence in the clips window and start queuing them on top of each other to see what works best for you. So that's the new clips window, DP10. Wow, well, we look forward to trying that out. So what's the upgrade cost for existing the users? The upgrade cost is going to be 195 
And for people coming to DP Fresh? For people coming to DP Fresh, it's going to be $4.95 for new, but if you have a competing product, it knocks $100 off, it's $3.95 there. But if you're an existing DP user, any DP below, ver uh, nine, version 9 or below, it's $195 to upgrade. Wow, well I'm sure a lot of people will be doing just that. I Thank you, Brendan. So. No problem, thanks so much. Thank you. All right.